That's my winky. This is Bob Gurr. Sometimes the ideas were so wild, I'd think, oh my God. One of Walt's wildest ideas came in 1958. While holidaying with his wife in Switzerland, he took a shine to one of their most iconic mountains. Walt was so enchanted with the Matterhorn Mountain, he took a postcard and he wrote on it, build this. Build a mountain. Yes. <laughs> well, at what point did he decide that he wanted there to be a roller coaster in the mountain? Was that always part of the plan? Well, now here's where it got very, uh, very funny. He says, Bobby, he says, uh, I want you to put a track inside this mountain. And then he walked out of the room. And there was my assignment. Walt gave his dream team just nine months to design and build the Matterhorn bobsled ride. We had a time frame problem, and their answer was, we can go faster by bending pipe. If wood was the problem, steel was the solution. Tubular steel had been used to build bridges and hold up buildings, but never for coaster tracks. Were there ever any concerns about these hollow tubes that they would sustain the weight of these roller coasters? We had sections of pipe that were pressurized with air. Mm. We had a little pressure gauge on them. If there was a leak from a crack, the air would start to go out and we'd see the gauge pressure go down. Very clever. Very clever. It was very simple to do that. This was a world first, and no easy feat for Bob to design. Roller coasters are a gravity ride. I have to design as many ups and downs that I can put in it, but I have to do turns at the same time. It's phenomenally And I'm going to draw it with pencil, paper, and a little twirly compass. I mean, if you have a computer, you can just zoom through it, but you're having to think in slices. I am doing a three-dimensional thing in 2D. Yeah. In my head. Yeah. Not bad for a boy who got an F in geometry. Nine months later, the Matterhorn was finally ready for a test run. I remember the first day when we actually were testing the track, and then we had hay bales there just in case it went too fast. And then we had guys to catch it. We had sandbags in. Guys to we kept catch it. Putting the sandbags in. My boss looked at me and he says, Robert, you designed it, you ride it. And I got in the car, car it went around, it was rattly and shaky, of course, you know, construction dust and everything. Came down and the car stopped beautifully, just like it should. Today, that is still the roughest roller coaster I know of, and it's been years since I've ever ridden it. I just tell people, I am not gonna ride that thing one more time. It's just too doggone rough for me. 